It all starts with a simple traffic stop in Fort Worth, Texas. The officer has no way of knowing that the driver of that white Lincoln is inside the store robbing the clerk. The lawman calmly chats with the driver. No, the uh, center turn lane's not a passing lane. Moments later, the store's clerk comes out running. You can hear the suspect's car peel out. 354, report of a robbery from this location. And now the chase is on. Despite the suspect's head start, the officer quickly has him in his sights. As more officers join the hunt, the driver takes them on an extensive tour of the Fort Worth area. He starts in a residential section, then takes to the freeway, where he weaves in and out of traffic. Soon he's back on surface streets where he speeds through red lights. Listen as the pursuing officer second guesses himself on this tight turn. Damn it. Oh, I pit him. I should have pitted him. I should have pitted him. Seconds later, he has some advice for the suspect. Give it up, dude. It ain't worth it. Then, as the pursuit approaches cross traffic, it looks like things are about to turn ugly. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Somehow, no one is hit, but officers know that won't be the case if this guy isn't stopped soon. Now, with night falling and rain coming down, the pursuit nears Grand Prairie, Texas. Welcome to my hometown, sir. You just made the worst mistake of your life. As the chase nears the officer's place of residence, this becomes more and more personal. Yeah, you don't want to go to my house. Finally, 100 miles after it all began, the suspect rolls to a stop. Officers approach with guns drawn but they quickly back off when the driver flashes his own handgun. Now it's a standoff that will last well into the night. The suspect is willing to talk with police over the phone, but he refuses to put down his gun. Finally, after this goes on and on, police decide to apply some extra pressure, water pressure. It doesn't take long before officers have their man in custody. After 100 miles, five hours, and three cities, the drama is finally over with no injuries. The suspect is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon as well as aggravated robbery.